My name is Emily and over the next eight weeks I'm going to be building this boat. Today, uh, tracing the pattern onto the boat so we know where the daggerboard trunk goes, where the skids go, um, other things, and not sure what else we're doing today, but it is the 17th. Another cool bug! Very iridescent. It's like the green goblin as a beetle. This. So we got our full size plan laid out. Turns out when we started making the other boat, uh, the other boat is a tiny bit longer. But we're going to split the difference. Hopefully we can still split this boat in half. Right there. And then that will nest into that. done is I marked the center line all the way down the hull of the boat. I also added the location of the skids. There's one on either side there. Uh, the skeg will go from that point to this point. And this, then I drilled two holes. <coughs> I drilled two holes. This one is where the boat is going to get cut in half eventually. I've just drilled the one to be safe and we can adjust it. And then this is the center of the dagger board. According to these plans, the dagger board's actually a little longer uh, than the one I've cut. Not sure why, um, but we're going to be able to fit that in. I didn't want to cut this all out quite yet, but at least we have a mark on the inside of where it should be centered. Wednesday, September 18th, already almost 1.30 p.m. And today I'm going to try to get the skeg laminated, get the rudder done, um, maybe form the skids uh, so the bottom of the boat is kind of assembled and I've already cut out the forward bulkhead so I'm going to try and fit that today too. So I've got some epoxy work and then I've got I think tomorrow a lot of sanding. The bulkheads come tomorrow as well for the nesting compatibility of the boat. We're going to put the bulkheads and the doublers in so we can cut the boat in half. Uh, once we have that, then a lot of the puzzle pieces will start fitting together, but we are running low on time. Definitely. We've got like six weeks before we're going to leave, so let's get to it. Definitely too much epoxy. It is steaming, making bubbles. I'm just like hard. Ooh, it's hot. I screwed that up. That was the old stuff. It reacted so fastly. I probably mixed up too much of it. So, whew. Very, very hot. Can't even touch the container. So, we're gonna try again. Lesson learned.
little bit of me put the handle onto the dagger board. We have put together the dagger board trunk with some room to trim if needed. Put three plies of uh, plywood for the skeg that is being weighted down right now. And I've got the rudder assembly, epoxy the inside, got this all clamped up. So lots of bench projects today while we're waiting for the bulkheads. Rudder assembly, skeg, dagger board trunk, dagger board. There's the other part of the rudder up there. This is going to be really nice. One day closer. While I was working today, Clark was busy building a battery. This is going to be the battery for Emily's little dinghy because it's an electric dinghy. And these are our very powerful um, uh, lithium uh, cells. Uh, these are lithium, what is it, LIFEPO4 lithium iron phosphate cells. I made bus bars today by hammering coppers tubing flat. And uh, right now they're all in parallel, so it's a massively powerful, uh, incredibly powerful three volt battery. So it's equalizing each, each other and taking a charge. Uh, in fact, <laughs> if you were to short these two sides together, each of these cells can put out 200 amps. So that would be like crazy. <laughs> it's all going to go in this box. And this box is going to have two terminals up here in the front that come through. It's going to be locked in. There'll be a little space for radio and whatever. And there'll be a panel over here with two circuit breakers. And if they're both off, these are dead. If you turn one on, uh, the circuit breaker will trip if it gets more than 20 amps. And that'll be for her little outboard motor. But the other circuit breaker will be for 100 amps or so. And when that's on, it's like 100 amp maximum battery just because I really didn't make the buses big enough for anything more and that's how it'll be hooked up to Temptress to take a charge and share in the the work that batteries must do aboard the boat to earn their keep. Thanks babe. You're so cool. <laughs> We've got the power. Today I'm saving more fiberglass therefore wearing more protection. Going to finish up some of these parts. I'm going to sand off the extra fiberglass bits and I'll finish processing them from another coat of epoxy. Then we can start putting pieces onto the boat. Also our bulkhead wood is coming today. So we'll be able to start finalizing the width of the boat and uh, how all the inside comes together too.
Took a quick break from working and checked the mail. And we've got some new presents here. Um, as you know from an earlier video, Chesapeake Lightcraft accidentally sent us the wrong plans and we were working from the wrong plans for several days before we figured out our mistake. So they have really bent over backwards to make it right. They sent us um, wood for the bulkheads that are going to turn this into a nesting dinghy and that's going to put us right back on track for finishing this boat on time. Thank you so much to Chesapeake Lightcraft. Uh, we were surprised though, they sent us a whole other box of goodies. Let's take a look at what they sent us. This is a sail that's going to be perfect. We were going to make a sail, but we're really running low on time, so this is going to help us. So, a new sail for the boat. Got some more fiberglass cloth. You can always use more of that. We've got some very nice bronze oar locks and sockets. And some bronze cleats. Oh, this is so nice. Cudgeons and pindles. Some other hardware for the rudder. Lots and lots of hardware. This is really great. Really, really happy about this. And it looks like we got some hats too. So, some hats and some t shirts. There we go. Love life. <laughs> this is really, really great. I'm really, really happy about this. And this is going to make things so much easier. Um, Thank you so much to Chesapeake Lightcraft. Uh, you guys are awesome. We talked with Ed on the phone, and he was just so accommodating. I cannot recommend highly enough the customer service that we got. Uh, they did make a mistake, but we're all humans. We make mistakes, and they have by far made this right. So thank you to Ed, thank you to Chesapeake Lightcraft. We really look forward to wearing this shirt and this hat and saying thank you and uh, using all these goodies. end of the day it's 8 30 and we've done a lot today to get things moving on the boat we fabricated all the parts for the sailing uh, the dagger board and the rudder finished sanding those last coat of epoxy and they are ready and then we finished the bottom of the boat uh, put on the skeg and the skids so it was a lot more work than I thought it was but uh, I'm feeling really good about it. And I kind of want to give myself a day off, but I also want to get up and do even more to it tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow will be bulkheads for cutting the boat in half. So we'll have two bulkheads and two doublers that we'll put in the boat. And uh, then we'll start working on seats. It's really coming together.
It's hard to know what order to do things in. I'm not really going by the book here. Here's the magic. Watch the little teeth go right into the plywood. There's the pattern that came in the kit. And this is the pattern I made. Very happy with it. 